This is three cowbells and this is how it works. First of all, you can activate the available cowbells by simply clicking on them. You have control over the volume, panning, stereo wideness, reverb, the tuning and where it should sit on the keyboard. We have three different beaters, a stick, a cowbell beater and the mallet. Then we have a true dampening function here. We have an additional power knob, which is for sound design, and we have a delay effect. You can control the timing here. Additionally, there are two microphone sets. So we have a close mic, which is mono, and a room mic, which is stereo. And they work in a MS mode. So we have the mid with the close mic, and we have the sides with the room mics. You can change the levels here to get the sound you want. You can save memory by disabling microphone positions or simply select the beaters or cowbells you want. There's an additional light mode, which uses only 4 out of 8 round robins, so it cuts the amount of RAM in half. So let's have a quick listen and enable everything again. The cowbells are recorded with stick, beater and mallet, with 8 round robins and up to 5 velocity layers. The white keys play the lower hits and the black keys the higher hits. The beater has an additional hit which is right in the middle, which is on E. So down, middle and up. Same for all three cowbells. Dampening is controlled by the mod wheel and you can drag it with the mouse too, and automate it as well. It captures the sound of a muted cowbell which you hold in your hand. It sounds like this. There are two master effects as well. The custom made power effect, which is a combination of tape saturation and distortion. which can get very crazy and it comes after the reverb so you can get really really amazing sound design with this just for playing around. Then there is a delay effect dragging up and down you can change the timing or get really odd timings as well and triplets Disabling by clicking on the name. The reverb features two rooms. You can have it dry, how it was recorded. Or you can have a room sound of a smaller room. And a big hall. You can also tune it down. Those are semitones. And if you want it a bit smoother, hold shift and then drag left and right. And with control, you go back to the default setting. Down here, we have the octave switch. If I disable the other ones, you can see that you can place it on the keyboard where you need it. And you can also put two cobbles or three on top of each other. So you have them to play together. And with using the panning knob, and the widening to just get them narrower. You can have an ensemble and you can add the third one as well. That's it. Thanks for watching and stay tuned.